Hi, my name is Adam Mead. I'm the executive chef at Locale at the Bortley Winery in the Yarra Valley. Today we're going to be cooking Leander Bortley's summer vegetable risotto. So to get started with this recipe, we've already got our stock just simmering away there on the stove. And we're going to peel the couple of tomatoes. Before placing the tomatoes in the water, we just score the skin lightly and that will help the skin to peel off. Place the tomatoes in the bowl and then pour some boiling water over the top. After about 15 seconds, the skin should start to come away from the tomato. Just remove those from the water, peel off that outer layer of skin. These have only been in the water for a short time, so they may be a little bit hot, and in that case, just use a tea towel or, or something just to shield your hand from that heat. At this stage, you just want to cut the tomatoes in half, and we're going to squeeze out the excess juice. If you're struggling with, to get the juice from the tomato, you can also use a spoon and just helps to try and get all the seeds out from there. We're just gonna dice the tomatoes up and that's gonna be part of our risotto. Once the tomato has been added to the risotto, it will also start to break down a little bit. We'll just add these tomatoes to a bowl and start to cook the risotto. So the first thing we need to do is just add a small amount of olive oil and butter to our pan. It's important to use a heavy base pan when making a risotto. It's just to, to help the heat distribute evenly. So once the butter melts, we can just add our onion and also the celery. We'll start those ingredients over a low heat just to help them to cook gently. That'll take a few minutes and then we'll add the rice. As you can see here, we've got enough butter and oil in the bottom of the pan just to coat the vegetables and that will just help them to cook well so that it's not too dry and start to burn and stick to the pan. So the next step in our risotto is just to add the rice. In this case, we've got some aborio rice. So once we've toasted off this rice, we just want to get it so it's evenly heated. Once the rice is evenly heated, and it will start to look polished. So at this stage, you want to add our wine. And in this case, a lovely cooking wine, but also a lovely wine to drink with this risotto is the De Bortley Golf Station Pinot Grigio. So we'll just add some of that to the risotto. Just need to stir that to give an even distribution of the wine through the rice. Once the wine has evaporated, we can start adding our stock. This is a warm chicken stock that's just come up to the simmer. Normally add a couple of ladles to begin with, and just wait for that to evaporate before you add some more. The reason that we add a simmering stock to risotto is just there's no difference in the temperature. So it will start to simmer straight away. Just gives you a much nicer finished product and it helps your rice to retain its body and its shape. At this stage of the risotto, we're going to add a tablespoon of tomato paste and also our diced zucchini. The reason we didn't add the zucchini at the beginning is we just don't want that to break down. Then we just stir through those ingredients and continue to add our stock. Now that the zucchini has been cooking for a few minutes, we can finish our summer vegetable risotto by adding the tomato and the basil. At this stage, our rice is cooked, so we're going to turn off the heat and to finish the risotto, we can add some salt, some cracked black pepper, some freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano, and a small dollop of butter. We stir those final ingredients through, and that will give us a lovely creamy texture to our summer vegetable risotto. So we just cover the risotto with a lid, let it sit for a few minutes, and then now it will be ready to serve. So we just serve that lovely summer vegetable risotto in a large bowl, and we can share it amongst the table. So here's the summer vegetable risotto by Leander Bortley. A lovely wine to serve with this summer vegetable risotto is actually the same wine we used to cook, and that's the De Bortley Golf Station Yarra Valley Pinot Grigio. Cheers.